Hi guys, it's good to see you. Did my else come up? All right, so I want to talk to you a little bit about something you probably are gonna roll your eyes about when I first say it. I want to talk to you about learning. <sighs> Nikki, it's Sunday. We don't have school today. Do we have to learn now? Well, I'm not talking about learning as in I want you to take a lesson and learn it or memorize a verse or something. I want to talk about the way we learn. How many, and I'm going to actually ask the congregation to vote on this with their hands too. So how many of you feel like you learn best by watching somebody else do something? Like if somebody was doing it for you, then you kind of get it. How many of you learn best by reading directions on a page? You guys are not participating much. You're just saying, you know, just calling out. <laughs> okay, how many of you learn best by um, reading something over and over and over and then it finally clicks? Well, I'm just not going to look at them anymore because they're not helping at all. One of the things that I have always struggled with, I, I'm, a, I'm not a dumb person. I'm, pr I'm a pretty smart person. It's not very often you'll hear me say that, but I, I got some brains in there. And I got good grades in school and everything, but I had to work real hard for them. Some came really easy to me. Things like uh, language arts or, or English or history. Those types of things came pretty easy to me. But math? No. No, not so much. I had to really work hard in every class that I ever had that math in it, especially geometry. I'm sorry, shapes and numbers. No, those just don't go together. You'll get me someday on that one. But anyway, my point is, is that there's some things that we learn easier than other things. And one of the things that I've never, ever been good at is riddles. Now, a one-liner dad joke or mom joke, every time, I got that. I can do that. But a riddle, somebody gives me the easiest riddle in the whole world and my, my mind just goes It's got nothing. Do you guys do you feel like you're good at riddles? Do you, know what, do you know what the difference between a riddle and a joke is? Can anybody kind of tell me what you think the difference between a riddle and a joke is? I love that you're like, yeah, I know. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, a joke has a punchline, right? Like, now I'm drawing a blank. Three men walk into a bar, the fourth one ducks. Ba-da-cha. Well, you guys get it. Um, okay, but a, <laughs> I wasn't prepared with a one-liner joke, so sorry. Anyway, a riddle is like you have this objective. You have to stretch your mind a little bit to try to think outside of what you normally would. So I, because I'm so bad at riddles, I looked up a few that were pretty easy for most people, not for me, but I didn't even want to take the chance that I'd have to try to memorize them because that's how bad I am. So I'm going to give you guys a few riddles and see, see what you think. We're going to stretch that mind, okay? You ready to stretch? Play-Doh. Your mind is Play-Doh. Silly putty. It's going all over the place, okay? How can your pants pocket, so in your pants pocket, be empty but still have something in it? Stretch that mind. Do you have an answer? <sighs> yeah, but that's not the one I was looking at. She's too smart. She said air. air. Well, yeah, okay, air is in it, but there's another answer. <laughs> Work with me here. Okay, so what else can a pocket be empty but still have inside of it? There you go, you got it, a hole. A pocket can have a hole inside of it and still be empty. Good job, I would never have gotten that. What word begins with E and ends with E but only has one letter? That's a hard one. You do? Okay, your mind and my mind work a lot differently. We should team up. Um, envelope. Get it? Starts with E, ends with E, only has one letter in it. How, you... Mom, Dad, well done. Okay, one more, one more. 
what are two things that you can never eat for breakfast? You know it, don't you? <laughs> Does anybody else have a guess? What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? See, my mind goes to logical things like, well, I can have eggs. I can have pizza for breakfast. I can have noodles. No, what is it? Lunch and dinner. You got it. So, so you are a good riddler. Um, the reason I am doing this and the reason we're talking about this is because everybody's minds work differently, but that is for a reason. Because if everybody's minds worked the same, we wouldn't get very far in this world. Well, today during Sunday School with Betsy and with Myrna, right, you guys are going to be learning some more about Jesus' parables, his stories. And people around Jesus back then, they sometimes kind of like talked in riddles. Some of them were just really amazed by Jesus and wanted to know more. So they'd ask him questions, and he'd have to stretch his mind a little bit probably. I'm not Jesus, so I don't know that for a fact. Maybe it came to him really easy. But I'd like to think that there was some stretching going on. But then there were some people. There were some people that were jelly belly. They were jealous. They, were, they had the jellies of Jesus. And they were usually people in power, people who were like not wanting Jesus to be in power, and they were wanting to be in power. So they... They gave him the hard riddles. And they're like, oh, yeah, Jesus, well, you think you know so much. Well, here's a riddle for you. And you know what? Jesus was like her. He was like, I got you. I got this. Sit down. Let me tell you a story. And so today, I want you to not only think about the fact that Jesus was this and is this amazing presence in our life that has, seems to have all the answers, but also that he was challenged with some hard questions. And he had to try and figure out, what am I going to do with this? Or maybe he just knew, knew exactly what to say. Okay? So I, I like to have that, that happy, joyful Bible feeling all the time when we're up here, like happy, joy, love, sunshine. But, you know, there were some times when people had not great feelings, even towards Jesus. And some of those people like to try and trick him. Let's see if Jesus can get out of their, their trickery today. Sound good? All right, let's come together for a prayer. All right. Yes, you have to move forward. Okay. And I'm not even going to make a, a riddle prayer because I wouldn't know how because I'm not good at riddles if you didn't catch that. Okay. Dear God, Dear God. we thank you we love you. We, love you. we, hope, we hope to always remember, to always remember that, Jesus that Jesus has our back and all the answers. And all the answers. We, just we just have to listen. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh,